Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is Dee. And today we're talking about the full moon in Gemini, which happens November 30th, which is on a Sunday. All right, and uh, this spread is brought to you by uh, Biddy Tarot. And um, the full moon lunar eclipse in Gemini enhances your vitality and brings to light the ways you perceive the world. It also releases any feelings of boredom and explores your curiosities. And the six questions that I'm going to ask is how have you heightened your perception in the last six months? Where is your curiosity leading you? How can you improve your physical and mental vitality? How can you more fully witness the world? Where do you need to introduce more variety into your life? And what do you need to release in order to communicate clearly? Okay, so let's get started. So how have you heightened your perception in the last six months? For this full moon in Gemini. And that's represented by a six of arrows trans transition. Where is your curiosity leading you? Where is your curiosity leading you during this full moon in Gemini? It's represented by the blasted oak. How can you improve your physical and mental vitality during this full moon in Gemini? How can you improve your physical and mental vitality during this full moon in Gemini? How can you improve your full moon, your uh, physical and mental vitality? That's represented by the two of stones in challenge. How can you more fully witness the world during this full moon in Gemini? How can you more fully witness the world? Eight of bows, hearth fire. Where do you need to introduce more variety into your life? Four of bows, celebration. And lastly, what do you need to release in order to communicate clearly? What do you need to release in order to communicate clearly during this full moon in Gemini? The hooded man. All right, so there you have it. Six cards, you got the six of arrows for how you, uh, how, ha how have you heightened your perception over the last six months? The blasted oak for what is, where is your curiosity leading you? The two of stones challenge for how can you improve your physical and mental vitality? How can you fully more witness the world with hearth fire, eight of bows, four of bows celebration for where do you need to introduce yourself, uh, more variety into your life, and the hooded man for what do you need to release in order to communicate clearly. Okay, so let's get started. So the six of arrows, how have you heightened your perception in the last six months? Six of arrows transition. In the last six months, all right, as you're moving into this full moon in Gemini, you're in a transition, okay? You've you brought your perception out to a point where you're looking at transitioning opportunities, okay? Opportunities to increase your vitality, opportunities to bring light to you, to show you the ways that you perceive the world, okay? You're expanding your horizons, more or less, okay? You're looking at at different things that'll, you know, that'll um, help bring out some of the boredom in your life so you can explore your curiosities. You're traveling in a new direction. Where is your curiosity leading you? Is represented by the blasted oak. And it, it falls in line with that six of arrows transition. Okay, your curiosity is telling you, you know what? It's time to get out of this tree. All right, this is a life lessons card, all right? And lightning struck a tree, it's freed you of your bonds, okay? You are no longer constrained uh, with what's going on in the world, okay? You're no longer constrained within your own mental aptitude, all right? It's time for you to move out. It's time for you to enhance your vitality, you know? Step out of something that's comfortable for you and do something different. Bring light to a different part of that world because that's going right in line Okay, with that transitions card. All right, that transition card, you know, wants you to move into your vitality and into the light. All right, and that's what you're doing. Okay, you're transitioning, and as a result of that, that blasted oak is telling you, you know what, you're no longer, you're no longer bound. You're free. Yeah, it's going to hurt. You may not like it, but guess what? It's time to move on. How can you improve your physical and mental vitality? Two of stones challenge how you know in when i look at these three cards and we're talking about them they go hand in hand in hand 
Take on the challenges that are that are coming in front of you during this full moon in Gemini. Take on the challenges of, en of enhancing your vitality. Take on the challenges of bringing light to the ways you perceive the world. Okay, let loose the bonds that are holding you. If you look at how this is playing out, okay, these three cards, you're in transition. It's time to move forward, okay? Accept those challenges that are in front of you. That's what this is saying. How, how can you more fully witness the world is represented by that eight of bows and a hearth and hearth fire. You can more fully witness the world by communing with others, by enjoying what they have, you know, in companionship, friendship, okay? That's going to enhance your vitality when you get others, you know, involved with what's going on. Now, it's going to be hard with COVID, okay, but there's, there are ways to do that, you know, through videos, through, you know, you know, still doing a social distancing type of thing, all right? But take on more of that vitality in being safe about it at the same time to help bring light to the ways that you perceive your world, okay? That's gonna release those feelings of boredom. That's gonna you know, help you explore your curiosities as you're, as you're going forward. Where do you need to introduce more variety into your life? Four of bows, celebration. Last two, you know, these last two cards, eight of bows and a four of bows. They want you to celebrate, celebrate with friends. You know, do it safely, six feet away, you know, Maybe from different, you know, you know, car lots or whatever, however you want to do it. But celebrate. Celebrate the fact that, you know, um, you know, maybe it's a different variety in the way you celebrate. Instead of doing something at your house, do it at a park, you know, or, you know, do it out in the middle of a, of a, of a lake, all right? But, you know, still maintain that social distancing, all right, to help you enhance your vitality, to help bring that light into the world, okay? Because when you celebrate with others... It helps, it helps bring up that energy level. It helps brings up that energy level with everybody. And what do you need to release in order to communicate clearly is represented by that hooded man. Come out of your shell. Come out of that introspection. Come out of, you know, that, that hermit mode, okay, and spend time. Spend time with those that are friends of yours, family. Spend time with work, work friends, with social. It's going to be hard during this, so, during this COVID time, okay? But there's ways of doing it, whether through Zoom or whether through, um, you know, doing safe, safe, uh, safe distancing practices, okay? There's ways, of, there's ways of doing that, all right? That's how you can enhance your vitality. Because when you enhance your vitality, you're enhancing yourself, Okay, you're bringing up your spirits. You're not uh, you're not being down on yourself. Okay, at the same time, when you bring up your your mental acuity and your mental aspects of that vitality, you feel better about yourself. You become self empowered. All right, and that's kind of what this the theme about this is 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 self empowering you to move forward. You know, move into that transition phase. All right, know that you're no longer tied down. It's free to move. Take on the challenges of trying to meet people. Okay, and gain that friendship, all right? Celebrate the fact that you still have those friends, all right? But you have to come out of your shell, all right? That's how you can release yourself clearly, by, by getting more involved, okay, in transitioning into um, this, this full moon in Gemini, you know? Reach out to your friends. Reach out to your loved ones. Get more involved with Zoom activities or, or FaceTime or Facebook Messenger or whatever it is that's out there for you. All right, so that's the full moon in Gemini. Uh, this is D for the Spirit's Path. You know, hit that like button for me. Share it with others. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll talk to you here at the new moon coming up in a couple weeks. Take care. God bless. And stay safe, everybody.